G'day mate, welcome back to Factoria with me, Jedi. Now, if you have a friend or you are that friend who has to put a buffer chest on every single belt, then this is probably going to be the mod for you. So, um, I see all the time this sort of buffering or maybe this sort of buffering where people have, you know, putting stuff into a chest and then putting stuff back onto the belt. You know, in case they ever have a rainy day, in case they ever run out of plate, they want to have a nice sizable buffer built up just to take them through that low point. I understand that. I really, really do. The problem is, as you may have noticed, that I have two lanes coming in and because the stack and only puts on one side of lane, I don't have quite a full through, you know, two lanes worth of output. Um, or maybe you're using an underground, at which point you're... You're doing a little bit better, but um, as you can see, these chests are just constantly having more and more plate in them. And it means until they're full, we're going to end up with this sort of odd output. Um, or hell, maybe, maybe you're a little bit wiser. Maybe you've you've realized that stack inserters take off both sides of the belt and need to put back onto both sides of the belt. So you've built one of these sort of contraptions to, do, to give you a bit of a buffer. Um, but as you can see, until all these boxes fill up with thousands and thousands of plate, um, you're not going to have much luck because I've got four fully compressed lanes coming in through a balancer and then out the other side, I definitely don't have fully four fully compressed lanes going back out. Um, and these boxes, are, same story, they're just filling up with more and more plate. Um, probably what I'd recommend is this brand new mod for you, which is called a belt buffer which is as literally as the name describes. It is a small chest that goes in line with the belts, holds two stacks. That's all you need, just two stacks. If, if two stacks are not enough for you, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, we'll just put down four stacks. Help if I had some robots. Um, or six stacks, you know, we, we've instantly tripled the amount we can buffer. It's maybe not as much as a chest, but the beauty of this system is they go straight in line with the belts, you know? So as you can see, I've got four full lanes coming in and I've still got four full lanes coming out. And in the short time I pause these belts, um, these guys start, put it, you know, build up a stack and a half. Um, you know, they're, they're very, very quick to fill up. They are very, very, very quick to empty back out. Um, so on top of that, you get a couple of other interesting features. Uh, one is good old train unloading. Now, train unloading takes a lot of space. As you can see, I'm unloading into chests, onto blue belt, into a red belt, um, using blue belt so we're, we're not speed limited at this point. And then as you can see, I'm coming out to a fully compressed red belt with whatever left over coming out the other side. Um, this is something fairly typical. Um, that you may see, because I'm using fast inserters rather than stack inserters, that's my throughput limit at the moment. But here on the other side, you can see I'm unloading into these belt buffers, and you can see this uses vastly less room. Uh, come back here, train. I need you to demonstrate this side. All right. So as you can see, I've, I'm almost fully compressed at this point. This one's just topping up whatever's left, and then the excess is flowing onto this lane. But this is a much smaller footprint than what this spaghetti mess is. On top of that, it also does lane balancing. So of course, everybody's seen the good old lane balances where we're bringing in a red belt. Um, well, in my case, I'm bringing in red belt. I'm side loading it twice onto a yellow belt to make sure I have a fully compressed yellow belt coming out, out this side. Uh, and then I'm doing the same here with blue. So I'm bringing in a side loaded blue, compressing it down or side loading it twice onto a red belt. Um, but as you can see, I'm doing the exact same here in a much smaller footprint with side loading red on yellow. Of course, red has twice the throughput of, of yellow. So we're doing 30 items per second. Down here, we're down to 15 items per second. So we're equally balancing, equally loading both sides of the belt. Um, and then here I'm doing the exact same with a blue belt, which means 45 items per second, which is like 22 and a half per lane if it moves to red belt, which is what I've got up here. Um, but due to the way the mod works, it's actually fully loading the top lane uh, at 30 items per second. And it means the other 15 are on the bottom lane per se, uh, bottom lane. Um, and then again, same story. I've got a cut stack inserter and a couple of fast inserters give me sort of an odd input into the belt uh into the the belt buffer chest 
And as you can see, I, it has a very, you know, one lane fully compressed, and then the excess is sliding on over the second lane. It does mean the system like this, and if I just go into creative mode, I want instant blueprint, please. Can I do that? Uh, personal chains, instant blueprint is on. Cool. So hopefully that works. It does. help if I give it some iron I can always use a splitter to output priority left uh, and as you see now you know even though we were in we have only one lane here uh, well actually as you can see that that built up a bit of a buffer, so I've got both lanes fully compressed here. As you can see, because I've only got one lane here, this this second chest will, it will this second lane will fill out the gap in the bottom lane and then the excess will flow out. You know, it's it's not a perfect example, but it's a little bit better than nothing. Anyway, that is this week's mod highlight. I really hope you guys enjoy. As always, the link to the mod is down in the description below. The mod's only a couple of days old. I actually really, really like it. Um I honestly believe that the, the best use scenario is probably this trying to trying to compress down your train unloaders because belts belt spaghetti gets a little bit spaghetti if you're not careful anyway that's it i'm out thank you guys so much for watching see you in the next one bye